Be holy because God is holy. Kingdom Pattern 1 Peter 1 verse 16 Because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. Isaiah 6 verse 1 to 4 In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple. Above it stood seraphim, each one had six wings, with two he covered his face, with two he covered his feet, and with two he flew. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out, and the house was filled with smoke. One of the major attributes that Jehovah wants us to understand about him is that he is holy. Throughout the Bible Jehovah's holiness is emphasized, and his name and anything concerning him is associated with the word holy. Holiness In worship, holy is applied to anything or anyone that is separated from common use. Holiness also expresses the concept of cleanness and purity. The holiness of God implies that he is separate from all creation, due to the fact that he alone is the most high, and his purity, and his cleanness is absolute and there is none like him. Holiness is fundamental to the very nature of Jehovah, and everything concerning him is clean, pure, and upright. Psalm 83 verse 18 That they may know that you, whose name alone is the Lord, are the most high over all the earth. 1 Peter 4 verse 16 Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. Holiness belongs to our Lord God. Jehovah is the source of all holiness, and he radiates the quality of holiness. Those that will interact with him must be holy, hence he imparts his precious quality of holiness to others. When Jehovah spoke through an angel to Moses at the burning bush, Moses was told to take off his shoes because the ground became holy by reason of its connection to Jehovah. Exodus 3 verse 5 Then he said, Do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. Humans can be holy. Indeed humans can become holy in a relative sense with the help of Jehovah, even though we are imperfect by nature. Example is the children of Israel whom Jehovah blessed with a system of worship that was holy, because God wanted them to be a holy nation. The high priest wore a turban with a golden plate across the front, with inscription holiness belongs to Jehovah. Their way of life and worship was distinguished by a high standard of cleanness and purity. The people were holy in a relative sense inasmuch as they lived by God's word to the extent attainable for imperfect humans. Exodus 28 verse 38 So it shall be on Aaron's forehead, that Aaron may bear the iniquity of the holy things which the children of Israel hallow in all their holy gifts, and it shall always be on his forehead, that they may be accepted before the Lord. Exodus 19 verse 6 And you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which you shall speak to the children of Israel. Leviticus 19 verse 2 Speak to all the congregation of the children of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I the Lord your God am holy. Those who worship God must be holy in their conduct. We must have the willingness to stand out as different, if we want to be holy unto the Lord. As Christians, we should avoid such activities that would interfere with our worship. Just like the law helped to distinguish Israel from the surrounding nations, we should also by obedience to the word of God distinguish ourselves from people whose beliefs and lifestyles conflict with Bible teachings. Read 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 to 16, and 1 Peter 4 verse 3 to 4. As Christians, we can be like our holy God by imitating his characters, and strive to become holy in all our conduct. When people see our good conduct, they will be moved to glorify Jehovah. 1 Peter 2 verse 12. Having your conduct honorable among the Gentiles, that when they speak against you as evildoers, they may, by your good works which they observe, glorify God in the day of visitation. 1 Peter 1 verse 15 But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. 
God's holy name must not be subjected to reproach. Isaiah 57 verse 15 For thus says the High and Lofty One who inhabits eternity, whose name is Holy, I dwell in the high and holy place, with him who has a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. The name of God is holy and it represents God and embraces all his amazing qualities. The scripture tells us that God's name is holy, and it is a capital offense in the Mosaic law to profane the name of God. Jesus taught his disciples to pray, and the first priority in that prayer is hallowed be your name. Keeping God's name holy is very important, and we should do everything possible to always sanctify God's name, setting it apart as sacred, and revere his name. Leviticus 24 verse 16 And whoever blasphemes the name of the Lord shall surely be put to death. All the congregation shall certainly stone him, the stranger as well as him who is born in the land. When he blasphemes the name of the Lord, he shall be put to death. Matthew 6 verse 9 In this manner, therefore, pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. As Christians, we are not to be involved in, or be complacent when people dishonor or bring to disrepute by slander, just like Satan did in the Garden of Eden, by implying that the Sovereign Lord was untruthful and unjust. Unfortunately, a lot of people still believe the original lies of Satan, and they believe that the Sovereign Lord is cruel, distant, does not see what they are doing, and his name maligned, while some believe that he is non-existent. Read Genesis 3 verse 1 to 5, and John 8 verse 44. Revelation 12 verse 9. So the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world, he was cast to the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. We are to always think about God's marvelous acts, uphold God's name as holy, and above all reproach. Our response to Jehovah's holiness should always be complete reverence, awe, and godly fear. Psalm 99 verse 3 Let them praise your great and awesome name, he is holy. How we can be pure, clean, and holy. Jehovah our God is holy, and he loves what is pure, clean, and upright, on the other hand he hates sin. Anyone who seek to follow in the perfect footsteps of Jesus Christ, must view sin the way God does, by hating what is evil and loving what is good in the sight of God. Habakkuk 1 verse 13 You are of purer eyes than to behold evil, and cannot look on wickedness. Why do you look on those who deal treacherously, and hold your tongue when the wicked devours a person more righteous than he? Amos 5 verse 15 Hate evil, love good, establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. 1 Peter 2 verse 21 For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example, that you should follow his steps. We must understand that we can be pure and clean in the eyes of Jehovah our God, in the revelation of prophet Isaiah, when he appeared before the holy throne of Jehovah, he immediately realized his own uncleanness, and he cried out. An angel touched Isaiah's lips with a coal from the altar before the throne, and the angel told him that his sins had been atoned for. God is willing to purify and cleanse us from all sins, if we are willing to forsake our sins and seek his help. Read Isaiah 6 verse 5 to 8. Isaiah 55 verse 6 to 7. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, let him return to the Lord, and he will have mercy on him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. 1 John 1 verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Cultivate the quality of holiness. 1 Peter 1 verse 16. Because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1. Therefore, having these promises, Beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. There is a capacity for holiness within every human being, 
because we are created in the image of Jehovah who is a holy God. Genesis 1 verse 26. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. We must be holy because Jehovah is holy, and as his beloved children, we must put in every effort to imitate him to the best of our ability. We must understand that attaining holiness is a continuous process. Hence we must practice perfecting holiness daily. As we do that we draw closer to Jehovah, and he is happy to enable us as we cultivate the quality of holiness. Ephesians 5 verse 1 Therefore be imitators of God as dear children. The Good News The Gospel in a Nutshell Human inherited sin and sinful nature as a result of the sinful disobedience of the first human, Adam and Eve, and the punishment for sin is death, which means separation from God, the source of life, Romans 3.23, we cannot earn our salvation, for this reason Jesus Christ came into the world fully God and fully man. He perfectly obeyed God's law and perfectly fulfilled God's will. He died in our place and as our substitute, paying for our sins. He rose from the dead on the third day and ascended into heaven. He will one day return to the earth to establish his kingdom. If you truly repent from sinful ways, believe and accept Jesus Christ in your heart as Lord and Savior. You will be saved from judgment and spend eternity with God. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, are you ready? Be the first to know when new videos are published. Please like and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification bell beside the subscribe button to be notified of new releases. Kingdom Pattern at www.youtube.com Crossway Christian Ministries 2 at gmail.com This is Kingdom Pattern, a ministry of Crossway Christian Ministries.